Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Make It, also known as Watch a Dentist Try to Make Things. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I upgraded my makerspace by making this cool RGB sign that's totally 3D printed. I'm going to be covering how to design, print and assemble this, so hopefully by the end you guys will be able to make some of these yourself. Let's jump into it. So the first step in this design process was to start off by making a rectangle and the rectangle's dimensions correspond to the size I want the sign to have at the end. Then I typed out the text I wanted the sign to have and went through a list of fonts in Fusion 360 until I found one that I liked. So then I highlighted the text that we had just created right click and then selected explode text. Clicking explode text basically gives you the sketch geometry and then you can go ahead and manipulate that just like any other sketch in Fusion. So for example you can make offsets or uh, chamfers or fillets or whatever else you might want to do. So in this particular example, using explode text allowed me to make offsets and as you guys will see later on in the design, these offsets eventually get extruded and form the platform that the covers rest on. It'll make a little bit more sense as we get further into the video. And then after a series of just some simple extrudes, I was able to get the main base plate of the sign, which is where the LEDs will be housed into. And this is what I was referring to earlier. You can see here, those offsets that I created, here I'm extruding them from the bottom of the insert so that eventually when we make those caps, they have a platform to rest onto. Then I went ahead and created small rectangular connections between each individual letter which down the line we extrude to create a continuous channel that the LED strips can be fed through. To make the cap for each letter, I basically extruded the platform that the cap will be resting on by selecting new body in the extrude command. This gave me a new body that I could work with and then it was just a case of seeding the top by projecting the overall sketch and extruding by a couple of millimetres. Finally, once I had the cap made, I did the offset face command to make it slightly smaller so that it can go into the cutout without being too tight. This process was then repeated for each of the other letters and the full stop at the end. Now because this is too big to be printed in one piece on my Prusa printers, I had to go ahead and split the overall body up into smaller parts. And to be honest, this is a good idea anyway because before printing the overall thing and spending a lot of material, I wanted to print a test piece anyway just to see how the LEDs and everything look as it's assembled and then I can go ahead and print the rest. And then this is what the overall design looked like in Fusion. This is the color scheme that I had in mind. I'm a big fan of monotone, so I think black and white work really well. And then finally, I took it over into Prusa Slicer, prepared just a small part of the overall build, and then got those printed off. And then it was time for some 3D printing to get the parts ready. I've chosen an RGB LED strip to use in this project, mainly because it just gives you so much more flexibility on how the LEDs can look both in terms of colour, the strobing pattern, etc. This particular strip is mains powered, so I'll be able to plug in the sign into a mains power outlet. 
and it comes with a handy little remote which means I can change the setting without it being too complicated. Once the parts had come off the 3D printer, it was ready to start getting everything assembled. I started by gluing together the main parts of the housing using some super glue. The way I had sliced this up in Fusion meant that the super glue had a lot more surface area to bond the two parts together, and by the end, we had a really solid body. I also printed these really thin white PLA, I suppose you could call them linings, to go inside the cavities that the LEDs would sit in. The reason why I did this is so that the light has a bit more of a white colour to reflect off of. Essentially it just means the LEDs look a little bit brighter and as you guys can see towards the end I think it made quite a good difference. And then it was a case of feeding the LED strip through each individual letter, looping back and then coming back out from the beginning. I haven't shown the whole sequence here because it took me quite a while to do, but this bit required a lot more patience than I was expecting and it was a little bit fiddly, but we managed to get there in the end. And then I had to take apart the original connector that the strip came with, desolder it and then resolder it onto the strip that was now coming out of my sign. And then a quick check to make sure the wiring was all working. And to finish things off, I went ahead and put the caps over the letters just to complete everything. These caps were friction fit, so I didn't. I was planning to use some super glue, but by the time I'd fitted these in, they were so tightly fitting, I realised I didn't need to. So it just means that the tolerances I planned had worked quite well. And just to tidy things up, I covered all the exposed wire and some of the LED strip using some electrical tape. And here is the finished product guys. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think the RGB lighting is really cool. I love the different patterns that it goes through. And as I said, it means I have more flexibility with how I want this thing to look. All in all, I think it adds a really nice vibe to my makerspace and hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot more of this in future videos to come. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments guys on how you think this project turned out and any improvements we could make. Otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please consider liking, subscribing and leaving some comments down below just to help support the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.